Socrates believed that everything in the world can fall into any of these three stages at any time. First, it starts as a point of energy and then it expands and grows. Then it follows a period of constants where nothing changes. And finally, there's a stage of decay. Plato, though, who was his student, believed that there's actually no state of constant. Instead, at any time, something is either growing or decaying. Which theory do you believe in? Hi, I'm Eric Lee with Starfish Coaching, and I'd like to share with you my thought of the week. As the autumn leaves fall into the copper tones, and as the world anticipates to see if democracy, true democracy, will finally trump fake news. My thought of the week is about changes. We as humans strive very hard to maintain stability. We want to know what the future holds because it gives us a sense of security. To know what the, is the unknown, to plan for the unpredictable, we fashion our entire lives so that changes are minimized, whether that's in our jobs, our partners, or even our kids. But you see, that very stability that we crave to keep us feeling safe, that in itself is a fallacy because life is ever changing. You look at the mountains, which is seemingly unmovable, but over the past millennia, it has grown and shifted with the forces of nature. And that is what Plato was referring to in his theory. He believes that there is no state of constant, only growth or decay. It could be a very slow growth or a very slow decay, but over time, the state of that matter still changes. The only reason we perceive that the mountain is not changing is because its rate of change is too slow in comparison to our human existence. So today, I'd like us to explore what it would be like if we just let go and stop trying to plan against the many changes in our lives. What if we embrace change and even expect it to be a normal part of our lives? Would we develop mental muscles that allow us to be more malleable? Would we build a strength of character to withstand any adversity? Let me share with you my family story. I'm of Chinese ancestry, but was born in Vietnam, where my family was very well off. A war happened and the Vietnamese government kicked out all of the non-Vietnamese from their country. We had to go back to China and live an impoverished life under the communist rule. Life changed for us 180 degrees. Then my parents found a way to sneak out of China and we became refugees that were eventually sponsored by a Canadian church to Vancouver. We were happy to have arrived in Vancouver because although we were starting from nothing, we had hope in this new country. Life for us changed once again. After two years in the country, when our family finally had some stability, my dad passed because of cancer. My mom was left with four children to feed in a new country that she did not know the language of. Her life turned upside down once again. Eventually, she would become the first woman builder in Vancouver and raise four children who were all successful in their own right. My mom is an amazing woman who would has so much grit and drive for success that no adversity can hold her back. In fact, it's these life changes and adversity that have strengthened her and made her who she is now. Looking back, I don't think she would have changed anything or regretted anything that happened to her because she knows that it brought her to a better place. I hope my thought of the week will inspire you to see change as an opportunity. Think about the changes in your life and ask yourself, what new things did that lead you to? How have you grown because of the change? If you subscribe to Plato's theory, then you're either growing or decaying. If you're not choosing to grow from that situation that you're in, then what is your other choice? That is my thought of the week.